Welcome to Worship with the United Church. We are a peace and justice community, a movement towards wholeness in a fragmented world. We are united in spirit, inspired by grace, and we welcome all, we love all, and we seek justice for all. It feels good to be back with you after 10 weeks away. 10 weeks included a two-week vacation, a 10-week sabbatical, oh yeah, and an extra week to deal with some mild symptoms after testing positive for COVID. It's really, really good to be back. For the next few weeks, we will be engaging in sabbatical reflections. And um, I hope you'll join us in this reflecting process. An interactive reflection sheet has been created and has been included in your worship guide. You will notice it's two-sided. One side is for you and one side is for me. And you will notice on both sides there are several headings. Headings such as, what was life giving during these past several weeks? What was challenging? What are you wondering about? My hope is that we will find time and make time to share our responses about what has happened during these past several weeks. We can do that at council. We can do it during the first and third Wednesday conversation. We can share by email, we can talk on the phone. I welcome your questions. You'll see my side has been filled out and is being filled out. So I welcome your questions, your curiosities, your observations, and I'm eager to know what you are wondering about and what you experienced during these past few weeks. On your worship guide, on the front cover of the worship guide, there is a symbol which represents my sabbatical reflection. Time and time again during these past several weeks, I was reminded that in spite of my plans, the Holy Spirit was actually directing. Time and time again, I was reminded that our journey through life is not a straight line. Our journeys through life don't go according to plan. There is always a lot of circling back, beginning again. In our hearts, we humans plan our courses. And then the spirit of divine energy jumps in and establishes the path. Wisdom from Proverbs 16, 9. 